right so let's start so first of all let's get our example data we need to do that so the example data you can find it here you can also come to this page here so i'll link the link to all these pages in the description box what we need is just that session id that's the only thing we, need. we are going to import everything here so we don't need to download or re-upload or what everything will be done in a simple manner so let's get our session id we can use this page i'll leave the link to this page in the description as well i'll also leave this session id here because that's what we are going to use all right so i want you to copy this session id that's what we need i'll right click now copy it then i'll move to galaxy so when i'm here i'll create a new history so when you are here just click on the plus here then you will have a new history camera with the name on name history so let's edit it and then add our own so we are going to rename it i'll say genome assembly fly that's all that i need so i'm now going to import the data so to import come to the search tools here this side here click it and then search so i'll show you two approaches to search for the utility to import the data so you can just type sre when you type sre you have a list of tools coming up you will use the faster download and stretch free skill but you can also type the full name here so i can say faster download and extract etc so this will also list the tool for me here all right so whatever you do make sure you have this listed for you you can click it so after clicking here's what you get you get this interface coming up so make sure the select input type you have sr accession then paste your accession id here just paste it so there's also another way to put the tag to like this problem i've already covered another tutorial on that also so check the description all right so you just paste it just make sure that you are using the right accession id that's it then just click on run to so when you click on run to then Galaxy will begin to import that data for you so you will have a list of files coming up here so let's wait for everything to get imported first okay the data has been imported so we have the outputs here so you will see four outputs so let's take a look at them so we have paired end data we have single end data we have other data we have fast scale down log there's a log file now let's recap let's do a recap let's look at our data so we are dealing with a single end data all right so you can find the information here on this page here it's single when you come to the ena it also tells you it's single all right it's oxford nanopore so you may be expecting that we have just a single end data here but we still have paired end all right now these are the default outputs so if it's a single end then you have the data populated in the single end if it's paired then you have it here if the data has both single end and then paired end data then you have them populated in their respective collections all right so this and then this these are all data sets collections so data set collections allow multiple data sets to be combined into a single entity all right so if you take a look at a single end data, for example, when you click it, all right, you have the file here. So if you had multiple files, all right, so if you had multiple samples, let me just put it that way, then you have all of them listed here. All right. So let's go back. And if you even look at it here, it says a list with one data set. All right. So that is what we just saw here. Okay. Now, if you take a look at the paired end data, it says a list with zero pairs. This is because we are dealing with a single end data. And so there is no paired end data available for that accession ID. So that is why this one will be zero. So we don't need it. So you can remove it. There's also other data. In case there are other data sets, they will be placed here. But here there is none. So we can leave that. We also have the log file, which you can read if you want to look at some stuffs. But I will leave mine. So what I'm going to do is to remove those I don't want at the moment. So pair then data, I'll remove it. It's zero, by the way. I don't need it. Other data. This one, I don't need it. So I'll just remove that also. 